Peco is in the house. And Peso. So, no, she said Peco. And then we said that. Peso. So he's oh, just so it's, name it. He's P-E-S-O. Well, so I'm these it these Peso. Okay. Animals that are brought into the Humane Society <laughs> are named. So he doesn't respond. Well, he's yeah. not going to respond he's to his name. He's just had the name less than 24 hours. Yeah, so. it's probably the so first name he's ever had. So when you adopt you can name him whatever you Anything would like to name you him. Want. Wanda Massingale is here from the Ozark Humane Society. And who did you bring? You... You, Introduce who, who you brought. Well, it's Peso or <laughs> Peco. Or, or Peco. Uh, he came in yesterday along with uh, his <coughs> eleven brothers and sisters. So oh my gosh! And in, in one litter, and he's three months old, Border Collie and German Shepherd. And I saw one of his siblings, and the sibling looked more German Shepherd than this one. But uh, he's probably going to be not a gigantic dog. He's, gonna he's got some big but feet But he's got there. some big feet. Little. Adoption fee is $90. He uh, did not cry in the car. I'm working on the leash with him. As you can tell, he's, yeah, he's very not, loving. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's a, a very he's loving, a loving little yeah, fella. He to be a lap dog. Uh -huh. Pretty soon he's going to be bigger than the lap. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, there were adoptions of 31 cats and dogs the month of June, and um, it was, you know, okay. pretty good. Yeah. They have around 30 pets out there right now, which is so much farther, yeah. you know, down yeah. than this mm -hmm. time last year. And, and, and 100 more, and yeah. 110, I think, at one well, point. The, you know, the, this pandemic has... has change has altered people's lives it has uh, they've either they, they've they've gone in they've vacationed more they've gone out and 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 gotten dogs mm -hmm. so it's really changed people's lifestyles this whole thing well pets are wonderful for adults as well as children and i'm mm -hmm. sure that um the kids that have gotten sure. a new mm -hmm. pet, it's really yeah. helped them through this by not mm -hmm. being able to go with their friends and do things right. they're normally used right. to doing, sports or whatever. Uh, the microchip thing has changed a little bit. I've always oh, okay. said it's free, but they're not doing it free. They're doing it for calls for Pauls for like $10, which is pretty okay. free Still. compared oh, right. to... Yeah. You know, because someone has to buy Minimal those charge. things. It probably covers the cost of it. Now, this is not a GPS, but it's no, a it's a no. under the skin it, device that they use the needle and go under the skin. Yeah. Sugar Baby has one. And it basically, it's information on what if, the, if the medical pup, information. Well, medical. Um, if it gets lost, there's two types of ones that I've learned about that the vet clinic or or. A, another humane society will scan mm -hmm. and see who the pet belongs to. So, so if 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 an animal has one of these devices under their skin and they get lost, somebody can take it somewhere and they can scan it and say, this, this dog belongs, belongs to too. so-and-so. Well, and there's been cases of animals being stolen. Yeah. Oh. And, then, and then that well, device and, is taken out. Well, and something you always sir. bring up, though, just because they have a chip, you have to enter the, inter, the information right so that that information is on file so that's and, the owner's responsibility and i paid i think it was 45 dollars for sugar baby's lifetime you can do right. so much per year or lifetime mm -hmm. you want to shake hands mm -hmm. teddy bear does that when i walk by he puts mm -hmm. his paw up mm -hmm. my friends in kansas taught teddy bear to do that <laughs> but uh, they really need wet uh canned food and uh floor cleaning supplies because i talked to now, Robin why, why, there. why they need but, wet can uh, I, I don't. Do. I don't know. Maybe I for don't some know. of the dogs that can't really chew, or right. That would be my guess. I would think so. Uh, back to the microchip. I don't think I finished that. They're doing it for calls for paws. So if you want it mm -hmm. done, you could call down there. A person could call down there and say, "Well, when can I come in and do that?" Because do, do with they the, do it down there? Mm -hmm. Oh, at the calls for us. Okay. Uh, it's uh, Sherry Campbell that does it. I think. But you know, nice. is she going to be in? What day can I bring my pet? You know, double check the. So they price. can they update the information? I, I, oh, you don't know all that. No, I okay. don't. I do my own, but I really need to go in and uh, update sugars too. Okay. All right. um, just because a, an animal has their shots when they're adopted does not mean they don't need to be updated. I keep mine current because okay. I've seen animals die with parvo and distemper and stuff when I was growing up and it's horrible. Mm -hmm. I, I had a friend that had a dog given to him and it had had its first puppy shot but not the other two. 
And so it got parvo. It made it. That's a horrible disease. It it, it yeah. made it, but it you know a thousand dollar whatever yeah. fat yeah. bill, and that yeah. was his buddy. But it's important not only yeah. to do the puppy shots, but the rest of them. But we are going uh, to switch gears and ask you questions because Humphrey that I brought about a month ago mm -hmm. um, was adopted by Dan and uh, Kelly. Yes, and. Mm -hmm. uh, is he is he been what you thought he oh would be? Oh my gosh, he's the best dog. You've not you changed his name. We changed his name. Dobby to Dobby. Dobby. Yeah. And I thought I was bringing Humphrey that was just a few weeks old. You but picked up the wrong dog. They gave me the wrong dog. Okay. All right. Because <laughs> uh, well, I that's, that I don't know their names. How old you is know? Humphrey? A year. They, they a think year and a half. A year and a half to two years old. Because I kept thinking this is such a well behaved yeah, three he, months he, he, what, old pup. Yeah, and, and I don't know who had Dobby, Dobby before, mm -hmm. but Dobby doesn't know English. He doesn't know the things like, come on, let's go outside. Really? You've talked, no, you haven't he talked doesn't know it. that. And he's a, he, I, I he's think bilingual that, now. Who, whoever he was with, they didn't interact with him. Oh. Now, he's a happy dog. He, mm -hmm. he, it wasn't he, like he, he was abused. Or no, I, I don't. Well... There's been some times when there's been a loud noise or whatever, and he no reacts joke. to that. Yeah. Or I may slap the table. Uh -huh. Not in anger, but just, yeah. hey, he's like, oh, don't hit me. Oh. So, so there may have been some of that going yeah. on. Right. But he's the... I the, don't know the history. The best was he dog. housebroken? He, yeah, I was going to ask that. He was house. He is housebroken. Because broken. he won when I had him out in the hallway there, and I took him outside, and he just went to the bathroom, and he... Yeah. And he when, led real well too. Oh, he's a great. He's great on leash. I'm so he's glad that you've leash, got a yeah. good, a good. It's funny. We went to went to see him at the Humane Society, and he was in a room, and he was active and nervous. And I thought, well, what's wrong with him? Uh -huh. So we we walked him outside, and he went three times. So he was holding. He needed to go. The he needed to go. So, but he need he knew that he needed to go outside. Well, the picture. Either you or Kelly sent me mm -hmm. with him on your lap when you were driving. Oh, it was so uh. cute because he was just curled <laughs> up there. Well, and Kelly oh, he's said, a, you know, when he yeah. was on here, he was very affectionate with you. Yes. And you responded with him, but he came over here to me. Yeah, he came over here. So, and yeah. Kelly has said that he oh, just he, seems he's to a like mama's her. Boy. He, yeah, he's oh, a mama's he's a, boy. Oh, he's a female kind of oriented. So, he yeah. goes to the female. So. Well, he looked very happy with, with you. Well, him, when he's... When he's when I'm alone with him, when I took him in the car, he was he he will take up with anybody, you well, know. Good. But well, how was his eating habits when you got here? When we, I got some some dry dog food, and he didn't eat well for the for the first couple days, and then last week Kelly got him some some a canned dog food, mm -hmm. and we mixed it up with some other food, mm -hmm. and he just took right off to now, that. That may be why they need canned dog yeah. food. It's it could be. That's why I asked you that. I do that with mine too. But we're gonna we're gonna try a, a different brand of food because it it I don't know how he was fed at home. He may have been fed Who knows? table, table scraps. I have uh -huh. no idea. Right. So the, the the dry dog food he may not understand what that is. How does but, he let you know he needs to go outside? Just kind of whine. You know, or go he the door? is the most patient dog. He can stay all night, and then then when we get up, he doesn't like I got to go, mm -hmm. but but we will, you know, I mean, sure, we'll say, come on, let's go outside. And when he go, goes outside, he's fine. He'll go. Can but, I get Sugar Baby to talk to him? Because I get yeah. up sometimes four times a night. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. But um, She has a spastic bladder, I would say. I think it's the noises outside. <laughs> or it's, it, you know. no, Dobby is the most calm. He's acclimated to, to inside life. He, he kind of wanted to run away. When we first, I mean, he, he, when he saw a rabbit outside, he went ballistic. Oh. Well, he was exploring. It was a new yeah, environment but, for but him. But now we can take him around the yard and on a leash, and then when we're finished, we, I can let him go on, uh, let him and run he, around for a while. He's a country go dog now. He yeah. may have been a city dog. Do you yeah. have any pictures? Did you all see Well, we've got something Dan is we, going to put up, a video. We've got just a few minutes, uh, may, maybe 30 seconds left, looks like. Do we have a video? Well, Did the one say? that you and Kelly sent me. Oh, Okay. When you did. Is that ready? 
I think Dan's going to put it on at the end, yes. Oh. Hi, Auntie Wanda. You remember me? My name was Humphrey. You took me to the 726 show. But my new name is Dobby. And Kelly and Dan loved me so much that they brought me home. Just wanted to send you a message and say I'm doing fine and well and I'm eating lots of dog food and peeing and pooping all day long. <laughs> okay. Uh, that was so That's cute great. when That's great. you sent We're that glad. to me. It makes what I do, to, what I try to do, yeah. makes me think maybe I'll do something worthwhile. You do. Dobby you do a good has job. a good home. He so, does. Yeah. And you can, th this is a, uh, a positive uh, story you bet. that you could probably tell if you would go out and just allow yourself to connect with a, well, a dog right or a cat. We got peso. We got peso or peco or whatever. Whatever. And he he's calm. For three it, months old yeah, with no eleven kidding. other brothers and sisters. Excuse me. But he's part um, border collie and German shepherd, yeah. like I right. said. Ninety dollar adoption fee. Check it out. Wanda, thank you so thank much you. for being with us. Thanks. Thank you so for being a part of our show this week. And if you'd like to be uh, uh, on this show as a guest, if you've got an event that you'd like to promote or just wanted to come in and talk about uh, something that's uh, of interest to the community, we'd sure like to hear it. You can contact us here at Hometown TV uh, uh, at 400 South Sycamore right here in Harrison, Arkansas. We have a web page at Hometown Television, uh, hometowntv.net. And our Facebook page is Hometown Television. Just search it there. Contact us there. Call us at 870-741-4891. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.